Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So I'm going to be showing you um, all about this lovely squishy stamper which is one that I have used for over a year. Um, it's one of my absolute favourite stampers, I absolutely love this. It's always one I recommend to anybody that asks me. Um, you would have seen it loads in my videos, everything. Um, this is actually a brand new one that I got sent from We Heart Nails UK, which is somewhere where I always direct people to buy them because I know that they always have them in stock. So I'll just talk you through it. So it's got this black sort of long holder. It has got a little red one at the bottom, which is a lot firmer. Um, but I don't use that, it's just kind of a bit of a stopper to me. So and then you've got this white head, so you can see it just comes apart. Um, and basically this is a super squishy marshmallow stamper head. So and it is white, um, so obviously if you're stamping in white it might be a bit difficult for you to see. Um, but generally the actual... Um, head of it is really lovely like you can see how super squishy and marshmallow like that is so this has been this isn't this hasn't been primed um i'm gonna do that on screen for you but i'll just go through um some other heads with you that go sort of with a squishy stamper so this is um my new one obviously you can see that it's shiny this is my good old faithful um that i've had for over a year. Um, I actually bought this one from Amazon because at the time there weren't any UK sellers so I had to buy it from Amazon which was fine it took a little while to get here but so exactly the same you know black holder red stopper at the end so and you can see these heads are exactly the same there is no difference in these just because my one is from Amazon so the only difference between these at the moment is that this one is primed and this one isn't. So you can see the difference because one is shinier. So and then I also have this one. So this is a bit of a mix and match stamper. The holder, the purple and the red bit are from the Uber Chic Beauty stampers. Um, but I actually find the, the white head of the of the uber chic one is quite a bit firmer than the actual marshmallow ones so especially for me with long nails when i'm then pressing down it's like bending my nail and it feels horrid so i don't tend to use that anymore um i got this blue head from we not we heart nails uk laura sent it to me um in my last package in what november i think um so and what i've done is i've just switched switched them over i've put the blue head into the um, lilac casing so and I just wanted to kind of show you because you can buy these from We Heart Nails UK as sort of because like I said if you're stamping and you want to use white these perhaps aren't the best to stamp on white but this one would be something good so but I'll show you the difference this one is more of a silicone than a marshmallow but they're still super super squishy so but the difference is this blue one hasn't been primed. All it's had is a couple of swipes over the top with some acetone and that was it. I, I didn't do anything else to it. Um, and I clean, I clean it with um, a lint roller, one of these. So yeah. I just clean it like that. I don't use any more acetone on it because it is more of a silicone one. So yeah, so those are sort of um, my three squishy heads um, that go into the holders. So we've got the new one that's unprimed, the one that is primed, my old one, and then the extra blue head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to do some stamping with all three of these as they are to show you the difference um of being unprimed primed and old <laughs> and the blue silicone one okay and just to sort of stamp with i'm using one of the um yours sasha gossen stamping plates um has this one got a number on it yeah this one is y 
S01. So, and it's just got all this lazy design, so I thought it'd be quite good for us to see. So, and I'm going to be using um, Esmeltis de Kelly in Pinguano and Dolly, which are just the white and black polishes. So, obviously, um, on the white stamping heads, I'll use the black one, and on the blue one, I'll just use the white. Both of these are available from Nail Artisan. And then just for a scraper, I'm going to be using the Moe London sort of credit card scraper. Okay, so we're going to start off with the primed stamper head, which is my old faithful. So, and the reason I'm going to start off with this is so you can kind of see how it actually does stamp. So you can see how perfect that stamping image is all lovely and crisp and obviously you saw me I just pressed straight down I didn't roll or anything like that you just press straight down when you're stamping with these I find that's best so that's the primed stamp ahead so now we'll go on to the unprimed one and see how that works um, so as you can see this one is shiny so this is how it will look when it comes <laughs> Okay, actually that's not come out that bad, but it's it's not great at all. Actually, no, that is quite bad. I changed my mind. Um, so, as, as you can see, I stamped in exactly the same way as I did with the primed stamper head. Um, and I don't know if you can see, but it's actually missed a lot of the image, like a lot of the smaller details. It's missed off the top of this image over here. Um, yeah, actually that looks a bit of a mess. Oh. I changed my mind, it's, it's rubbish. So now um, I'm gonna show you the blue stamp ahead in comparison. Okay, so now actually this one isn't working at all. So um, it might mean that I also have to prime this now or it might just be the plate because I have used this before and I haven't had to prime but not all stampers work well with all plates. Um, I might get another plate just to kind of see how it works with that one. <sighs> so I'm going to try it out with another plate before I give up and um, prime it because I did use it before and it was fine. So we're going to retry this. So this is just Flowers 14. You can get this from We Heart Nails UK. Um, I don't think there's a specific brand for it. So I'm just gonna... Okay, now that doesn't seem to be working. So um, it might mean that I have to prime this one as well. Um, so what I'll do is I'll show you on both the blue head and the white head. This is kind of disappointing because honestly it worked before and I didn't I didn't prime it. So I don't know what's going on. Um, but I will show you how to start priming now anyway. Okay, so first of all I'll show you with the white head that obviously you get in the pack. So and I've got a sort of buffer file here that's 220 and 280 grit. Um, so one side is softer than the other. So if you have one like this, it's got two different sides Always use the softer side, which is actually the higher grit. The higher the grit, the softer the grit If that makes any sense to you. So actually this one is obviously the 220 because it's um, Rougher and then the other side is softer. So you can see this is an old file of mine as well It's one that I've used on myself or you can use one of these 240 buffer files. But again, this is an old one and it's always best to use an old one um, rather than a brand new one, just because sometimes you can scratch the, the stamper with these, especially because they have got quite sharp edges. Um, so I would always use a older one that where it's kind of, um, you know the grit's worn down a little bit so but I'm going to use this one today so I'm going to be using this side here so I'm just going to get my file and my stamper so and obviously we're using this underneath side here and all I'm going to do is just buff off the shine can you see 
don't know if you can see, but basically this half already isn't, isn't shiny. So, and that's all you want to do is just buff off the shine. Just make sure that all the shine is off. But that's kind of it really. So, and then what I do is just get a cotton pad with a little bit of acetone and just wipe over the top. So, and that is it. So now we're gonna retest this one. So, and there you can see how much better that image is compared to what it was. There is no parts of the image missing. We've got all of the little like lace details. So it's that easy. So now we're gonna move on to the blue one, which I'm having trouble with. Okay, so now it's time to get on to um, this silicone blue stamper. So I'm gonna do exactly the same thing with the file and I'm just gonna buff over the top a little bit. You might be able to see more on this one, I don't know. Can you see where it's shiny in the middle where I haven't done it? So, but because this is a nice soft grit, all it's doing is just buffing off the shine. You're not actually harming the stamper because there's hardly like any grit there. So, and then I'm just gonna wipe with acetone a couple of times. So now it's really quite matte. So I'm just gonna get the Sasha, Sasha Gossen plate again. I'm just gonna get my black because it's next to me. Yeah, that's much better. Can you see that? Much, much better than what I was having before. I'm gonna try it with the white now as well, just to make sure that um, the white works as well, because obviously I did it with the white before. But yeah, that looks perfect now, perfect stamping. Yeah, that's much better. That's not perfect, um, but I think that's the way I've actually done it. Let's do that again. So here are the um, three stampers all together. So actually after trying it out with, um, after trying the blue one out with the white, um, for some reason it just didn't want to work with white. So I'm wondering now if I've primed it um, and actually I didn't need to. But you guys have now seen priming um, two stampers and, I, and it didn't hurt this one to prime it. So it's not one of those like sticky ones. If it was a sticky one and I'd primed it, then it would have been a bit of a mistake. But because I've primed that, it's not it's not actually um, a huge problem. It just probably doesn't need priming. I don't know why it wouldn't work with the white, to be quite honest. Um, I just now know that I don't use white with that stamper. So we've got my new one that has now been primed that you've seen me prime on camera. And then I've got my old faithful here. Um, so in comparison, you can kind of see that there's not much difference at all. The only thing with this one, um, with my old one, is I think I've probably um, buffed off the top quite a few times because when I used to use Mondo de Onyes, the metallics of those used to really stain um, the marshmallow stamper. So, um, and I think to get off the colour so I could actually stamp again, um, I did buff off the top a couple of times. So that would probably be the only one with the old one. I'm still gonna keep the old one, but I would probably use the new newer one now because obviously there's nothing on it and it's nice and clean and new. So yeah, so those are um, all three marshmallow squishy stampers so and like I said you can get this one from We Heart Nails UK and the blue silicone head as well if you wanted a spare head um, and now you know how to prime it so you can just go ahead and prime it if you want to um, or you can have a little test out yourself that's completely up to you so I hope that you like this video guys um, please like and subscribe for future videos and um, I will see you all again soon bye